Hey guys, I'm back with yet another cup of hot, sizzling tea to quench your gossip thirst. As we all know, the TikTok drama is never ending yet quite engaging. It sometimes gives us a good laugh, sometimes leaves us bewildered, or sometimes makes us question everything. Well, today we have something of that sort. Which sort do you ask? Watch till the end to find out. So, what do we have today? Did y'all hear about Addison Ray being exposed for Illuminati? Doesn't it feel like we're still stuck in 2020 and all kinds of crazy things are happening left and right? And did you know about Jaden Hosler's truth about being a racist in the past? And finally, did Daniel Khan cancelled? I mean, literally every TikToker is getting cancelled at the moment, so that was kind of expected. Anyway, without further ado, let us get into the video and talk about all this sizzling stuff. The conspiracy theory states that Addison Rae is now in the Illuminati. TikTokers and people on the internet are trying to gather evidence against the star to show that she is now part of the secret society. Honestly, have we recovered from Charlie and Dixie getting accused of joining the Illuminati yet? Does Illuminati exist in the first place? Anyway, according to some of the news and TikTok TV channels, Addison Rae has allegedly sold her soul to the devil. 2021 is definitely going to be weirder than 2020, I bet. Before we talk about Addison giving her soul to the demon or devil or whatever, we should talk about the huge drama that went down in the D'Amelia household and that is the Illuminati. And many people still believe to this day that both Charlie and Dixie have joined the Illuminati in the past. All of this rumor boils down to the time when people seriously started questioning how Charlie and Dixie became popular so easily. People started talking about how their connections with the secret group and to make things worse, or accidentally and unknowingly, both Charlie and Dixie also started doing different Illuminati hand symbols on their Instagram pictures and TikTok videos. But even though the rumors were getting worse over time, Charlie saved herself from the rumor and confirmed later that she's not associated with the Illuminati and said it's just a stupid rumor about her. Look at this video. Guys, there's a crazy rumor going around right now that you sold your soul for, I for fame and fortune. Is that true? Oh, no. You didn't? I didn't. If you were to do that type of thing, what's like the going rate? Like, like <laughs> how much would you ask? Uh. I don't know. How much do you think? For those out of the loop, the Illuminati translated as the Enlightened is believed to be the name of a secret society. It's rumored that society has a major influence across the globe. Whether it's weighing public opinion or pulling strings from behind the scenes, netizens have been theorizing what the Illuminati is and who belongs to it for decades. The Illuminati confirmed conspiracy theories have been mocked on the internet spawning for a while. Countless memes have ridiculed the movement. Whether any of these theories have any merit is anyone's guess, but some of the absurd ones are enough to get a good laugh. Not long after the D'Amelio sisters got accused of being in the Illuminati, the internet is going crazy about Addison Rae. It all began real quick, you guys, when people started sharing multiple pictures on social media this week of Addison Rae also doing Illuminati hand symbols on Instagram. And guys, it even got a lot worse when people started assuming that Addison was also doing the devil horn symbol in this picture. The devil horn symbol apparently also symbolizes selling your soul to the devil. Now, while all of these hands were going everywhere on the internet, people started taking the situation way too seriously to the point where random people made a bunch of TikTok videos about Addison Rae and how she also could be in the Illuminati because of the Kardashians. The theory got legs by noting Addison Rae's recent connection to the Kardashians after getting their attention over the internet. Theorists are stating that this is the beginning of her indoctrination. TikTokers are certain that Addison Rae's presence on season 20 of Keeping Up with the Kardashians is a sign that she's being brought into the secret society. Here's what some people had to say about all the Illuminati hints Addison has been giving according to the internet. Bruh, she's just promoting makeup. She didn't sell herself. Charlie did. Yeah, hell is us. I wouldn't be surprised if she sold her soul. It is quite fascinating to see the lengths to which people will go to build a narrative. Do you guys remember when Jaden left Twitter because everyone realized he is a KKK sympathizer and cancelled him? It was pretty rough. 
the tweets from 2017 came to the attention of the public, all of which had featured comments about the KKK and his opinions on whether or not Christians should accept the LGBTQ plus community. Many fans were upset at the nature of the comments, leading Jaden to release an apology in which she said, I definitely apologize for my past words that were so hurtful. I do not agree with that and I am so grateful for who I am now. This is not the first time the internet saw a lame apology, so that didn't really work, no matter how much Jaden wanted it to. Last year in November, the TikToker revealed the apology had not ended the criticism and reported, My family has gotten messages that are so hateful that it's just gotten too far. Jaden's sister defended him from angry commenters as she said, I cannot sit here and watch videos of somebody spreading lies about my brother and let it lie. If you did not know somebody personally and have a relationship with them, you cannot judge intentions or character. Soon after that, Jaden deactivated his Twitter account. So, what happened now? Well, apparently, despite the apology, Jaden is still the same proud boy the internet accused him to be. In fact, most of these TikTokers out there who offended many cultures and communities in the past are only apologizing now to their fans in order to save their career. Anyway, for the past year, people have been exposing both Jaden Hostler and Quentin Griggs for being racist Trump supporters and KKK members. Oh yes, Quentin is also so here in this story. And to make it even worse, both of them even got exposed a couple of months ago for, for also being Islamophobic and homophobic. And that's what made their career go downhill. As the internet was sharing all this information everywhere on social media, Quentin Griggs' own father decided to speak up on the allegations yesterday on behalf of his son. And well, this was his answer when someone accused Quentin of being in the gay community. Sir, you support the K-what now? So, where do you get your info? Just wondering, I would love to see. While Quentin's dad was defending his son by claiming that these allegations were completely false, you would probably expect Quentin to involve himself and defend himself with his father. But that did not happen. Now, in case y'all are wondering how Jaden reacted to the allegations, well, he also wasn't planning on apologizing to any of the communities he's offended in the past. He has apologized before, as we talked about earlier, but that didn't really come off as expected. So, Jaden really did not respond to the accusations until he announced his new album that is coming out soon. Here's what Jaden had to say about his allegations on Twitter. Entering into my 20th birthday, it felt appropriate to say this. Regardless of how you feel about me, thank you for an amazing year of blessings to you all. These assumptions are absolutely not true and make me so sad to see daily on all my socials. I was 16 and had strong opinions, similar to the rest of humanity, and hopefully along with everyone have grown since being a kid and with that, my perspective and opinions change constantly. I have apologized previously but apparently not everyone saw it. Hmm, this is slightly a better apology, still not good. And we might expect there were a lot of mixed feelings towards his apology. Actions speak louder than words but this is a step in the right direction. I wonder if he's doing things since he got an album coming out soon? So he was waiting for his 20th birthday to address the situation? Well, at least he did it. A recent video of Daniel got leaked online all of a sudden where she seemed just to be throwing the R slur on her live stream like it was nothing. Oh, I literally took my mom's phone because this is hard. Do you guys see how nonchalantly that came out of her? Isn't it quite obvious that she uses that word on a day-to-day -day basis? Apparently, Daniel Khan and Malucha Vejo are now taking turns saying slurs left and right on the internet. However, as this topic was gaining more attention and raising awareness about the R slur, Khan decided to move on from beefing with Nicki Minaj's little sister yesterday and get into another drama. But you know what? I just feel like there's no canceling Daniel Khan. This girl has been canceled for literally anything, everything. If she is truly canceled, then why does she still have a fan base? Anyway, as soon as this video started getting posted on all T pages, Danielle apologized on her Instagram live by saying the R word again. She also wrote an apology similar to the ones usually said by other influencers and internet personalities. This is what she said. 
That wasn't a lie. That was me sending this to a 14-year-old woman who was talking about me. I'm sorry if it came off offensive to anyone. Anyway, shortly after she responded with this, a lot of people were not having her apology at all since it seemed that she was forced to apologize only because she got caught. It does not come off offensive. It is offensive. They all can't find any excuse anymore. Hilarious. Doesn't matter, she still said it. So, what do you guys think about these TikTokers and their lame apologies? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, later Daniel apologized on her Instagram live by saying the R word again. People never forgave her at all for still offending autistic people.